Gretchen Steinke, and I teach third and fourth grade here at St. Paul's Lutheran in Stevensville. All right, some of the problems that we've dealt with is we're somewhere in between. We are not as tech savvy as those fifth through eighth graders, and we are not little, little kids that need to be led by the hand by our parents. So this means that I've had to temper what we're doing based on basically what level we're at with both our tech and our learning level. So that's the biggest issue I had is trying to figure out what my kids can handle technology-wise as well as independently. Unfortunately, a lot of the adapting has been by trial and error. When we started, I had just kind of thrown something together because we found out about this with literally like eight hours notice before I wasn't going to see my students anymore. And we've tried different things. We've tried where they had to submit everything online. We've tried more paper. We've tried um, videos versus just directing your own learning. Um, and what I found is that they do best with direct instruction. So I take a video of myself teaching it like I would if they're standing in my classroom. And then I give them paper assignments. So our weekly packet is pretty extensive. I don't know if you can see my table here. This is where I put it together each week. Um, we have math papers, okay? We have reading packets. I started putting like all the assignments that I can in its own little packet because then they don't lose one piece of paper or another. So this is our schedule of reading for the week. And then we kind of pan out to the different assignments. A lot of the things that we would have been doing notebook based, I'm doing making a worksheet for each week because they can't hand in their notebook every day and then I can get it back and, and check it. Um, so we've got basically all your, your core assignments. We've got math, we've got reading, we've got spelling, we've got social studies and science, um, just in paper packets. And like writing, writing does best when they can write. So I give them the whole packet, walking them through the writing process. All right, and then they get to finish with their published draft. And then on top of that, we have our assignment sheet, which is a big part of third and fourth grade, right? Keeping track of your assignments, checking them off as they're done. My assignment sheet is filled out so they know what they need to do each day, and then they just check it off in the box as they go. Well, some positives are we're a whole lot more tech savvy than we were about a month and a half ago. I will tell you that. I've, we've learned how to take video. We've learned how to use Google Classroom pretty extensively. And I also think we have a much better understanding about um, teacher, parent, and student role, as we all have to work together so much more maybe than we even realized before all this came apart, because we've had to rethink how we do everything. And I think that's, that's a valuable lesson to learn in thinking about what your role is in the system and how we can best serve one another. <laughs>